Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Miss Lydia from the Boston Library. Today is Groundhog's Day, so I wanted to share with you a special story. This one is called Groundhog's Day Off by Rob Perlman, illustrated by Brett Helquist. Every year, on one special day in February, Groundhog wakes up extra early. Crowds of people gather outside, locals, tourists, even the mayor. News reporters with large microphones and big shiny teeth are waiting. Every year, they ask Groundhog the same question. Are there going to be six more weeks of winter? Is spring around the corner? But the one thing they never ask Groundhog about is him. No, how are you feeling? No, have you seen any good movies lately? No, do you like mushrooms on your pizza? Not even, who does your fur? Groundhog has more to offer than a forecast, but that's what happens year after year. Well, not this year. He's left a note. Dear people, I'm a groundhog with feelings and things to say, but all you care about is the weather. So this year, I'm going on vacation. You'll have to find someone new. Sincerely, Groundhog. P.S. I'm bringing my shadow with me. Groundhog packed his robe, slippers, magazines, and shadow, and headed for the spa. The townspeople didn't know what to do. The mayor thought long and hard and finally announced, we'll hold auditions for a new groundhog. Lots of animals wanted to try out for the role. Here we have a raccoon, right? But elephant was just too big. He broke through the stage. Ostrich got the whole thing backwards and hit her head. Monkey was asked to leave after an unfortunate banana cream pie incident. Bats, owls, moles, and possums schedules just didn't work. They're all sleepy. Poor puppy suffered from stage fright. And Sheldon, well, his shadow just wouldn't behave. This is terrible, the mirror cried. There's only one animal right for this job. Groundhog had been relaxing when he heard the news. Nobody has the groundhog's flair for the dramatic. Nobody can wake up as early as he does. No one, the mayor said, pausing, is as special as Groundhog. Groundhog couldn't believe his ears. They do think of me as more than just a weather vane. And with that, he threw on a towel and whistled for a taxi. Take me home. Groundhog tunneled under the stage. Ta-da! And popped out. The audience stood and cheered. Reporters asked Groundhog all the questions he had always hoped that they would ask. Where did you go on vacation? Which team are you rooting for in the playoffs? Do you prefer chunky or smooth peanut butter? Is that your real fur? Will you do this for real tomorrow? Groundhog stopped signing autographs. Tomorrow, he said. The reporters nodded. Tomorrow is Groundhog's Day. You came back just in time. Well then, no time to talk. I have to go to bed early. The next morning, Groundhog woke up extra, extra early. He poured himself a cup of warm mint tea and peeked out of his hole. And this time, the reporters asked him about much more than the weather. What would we do without you? Bagels or donuts? What would you do if you had a million dollars? Seriously. Is that your real fur? And look, they have an exclusive Groundhog Tells All. 
You like me. You really like me, Groundhog said with a huge smile. He finally felt like everyone cared about him. He was very happy. That is, until he climbed back down into his hole and turned on the television. Look who's walked off and saw that Bunny had hopped away. Auditions would be held in the spring. Look, there's our groundhog and our Easter Bunny on vacation. So if our groundhog sees his shadow today, that means that there will be six more weeks of winter. But if he pops out of his hole without his shadow, that means we only have six more weeks until spring. Have a wonderful day.